Hi traders, this is Kim again from ninjaaddons.com. In this video, I'm going to dive a little bit into the order book feature that we've added in the NT8 Raider Tape Indicator. Let's get started. In order to do this tutorial and be able to show you all these, I had to load the Raider Tape earlier this morning and let it run for a few hours. This is because the order book information is based on real-time data only, all right? So before looking at the order book inside the Raider Tape, let me explain first what it is and what it does. So to see the order book in Ninja Trader 8, you can simply open a level two window by going to the control center and click new and then level two. And then you can select the instrument and click on OK. Now, remember that you need to be connected to your data feed to be able to see something in this window. Okay, so what you see in this window is the representation of the supply and demand for this particular contract. So my data provider gives me access to the 10 closest sellers with their corresponding volume. It is the ask column here and the 10 closest buyers with volumes which correspond to the bid column. So it simply means that if I want to enter long into the market with one contract, the best price will be the first one in the ask column on the right hand side. However, keep in mind that these information is what traders are willing to do officially, but it does not correspond to executed orders. So the time and sale or tape corresponds to real exchanges, not the order book. And this is really important because you might see someone ready to sell a big amount of contract at a higher price and think that it is a good moment to anticipate the down move and enter short before him. However, this is really a bad idea because it can be a fake order and that will be removed if price go up. So just keep in mind that if it's too good to be true or if it's too obvious, it's most likely not what we expect to happen, All right? Okay, so going back to the Raider tape, so the information that you can see in the level two window is useful in certain conditions, but it is a bit hard to put into context. Now, there are traders that trades only with this window, but for most of us, we trade with a chart, so it would be nice to have the order book plotted on the chart. So this is what the radar tape does. Like for the time and sales and the aggregate levels, you can plot the order book on the right-hand side of the chart and put it into context. So to do so, let's just click on the radar tape toolbar on the left-hand side of the chart. Okay, and then open the subpanel called order book settings if it's not open and let's see what you can do from here. Okay, so there are three tabs. Uh, these are main ladder, ghost levels, and infos. All right, so let's talk about the main ladder tab. So ladder is another term that you can hear for order book or level two. This is because if you put this information on a chart, it will look like a ladder as you can see here. Okay, so from the toolbar, you can choose to hide or display it, and you can set the number of row. Now, this is important if you want to use the ghost levels that I will talk about later. Remember, your data provider gives you access to a limited number of ask and bid levels. So most of the, most of the time, it is 10, but it can be more if you have a good data provider or if you paid a supplemental to get this information. Right. So here in my case, I have access to 10 levels or rows, so I can set this parameter to 10. If I bring the level two window here, you can see that this is the same information, but plotted on the chart. So as you know, there are two groups, the sellers and the buyers. The sellers are in green here and represent the ask side, meaning that if you wanna buy, you'll have to do it at the best ask price that a seller is willing to sell. On the other side are the buyers, the bid side and if you want to sell a contract it has to be at the best bid price in red so the colors basically are from your point of view green to enter long red to enter short so some traders prefer to see the counterpart point of view in other words the sellers are on top which is red and the buyers at the bottom in green so that is why you can change the color from here and set them according to your preference all right um, also note that the ask and the bid price with the most volume can be highlighted with a different color. 
Okay, so you can also change the opacity, the outline color, and the line thickness of the histograms. The very last section is the right side margin so that the order book do not overlay the chart. So you can force it by ticking this checkbox, or if you have another indicator that already forced the right margin to another value, you can untick this parameter so there will be no conflict between both indicators. Okay, so now you can see that the order book is plotted on your chart, and even if it can be useful in certain conditions, the information you see here is obvious and can be seen by everybody. So in order to get some extra information, we added the ghost levels feature. A ghost level, by the way, corresponds to the levels outside of the range that you can normally see on your chart, which is 10 most of the time. So the indicator saves the levels when they normally disappear and continues to display them with another color on the chart. So to do so, I simply just need to display them from here. All right, so as you can see, I still have the 10 best bid and ask prices, but I also get the levels above and below the normal range, simply because they were saved, All right? So now on this chart, it is not obvious, but many times during the day, you'll see important ghost levels very near a top or a bottom. So when price come back to this level, it is interesting to look at the reaction of the price near this level because it can indicate that this level is actually a very good support or resistance and the probability that this level will be broken is low. All right. In our opinion, when it comes to trade and sale trading or order book trading, you should never anticipate a trade but look at what happened near a particular level. In other words, don't trade action, trade reaction, right? So back to our toolbar, as you can see, you can configure the number of ghost levels you want to see on the chart. So if I put 100 here for the purpose of this tutorial, you can leave it at the default value, which is 40, okay? I can also change the color and opacity as usual. All right, lastly, the info tab. So this allows you to display the total volume of the ask side and the total volume at the bid side. It is expressed in numbers of contracts and also in percentage relatively to the other side. So for example, 55% ask means 45% bid. The important thing here is that the sum doesn't count the ghost levels because they are past levels. Their value is memorized but can be different and we can't know that. And the only accurate values are those that our data provider gives us access, which are the 10 best ask and bid levels. And like always, you can change the font, its size, and its color. All right, so that's it for this video. If you have any questions, suggestions, or feedback, let us know by sending an email at contact at ninja-addons.com. You can always subscribe to our YouTube channel to get notified when a new video is published. Thanks for watching. Bye.